Good morning, guys. Welcome back to another video with me. You are joining me on day two of my potato reset. So just a bit of history. I have lost 60 pounds following the starch solution and using low calorie density to guide me to build my plates. I get to eat massive volumes of food and lose weight effortlessly. So yeah, uh, anyway, I'm very excited about it. But I am doing a potato reset for this next week. Um, you can find my day one um, it, obviously I posted it yesterday, um, but this is my day two and I want to show you everything I'm eating on the potato reset. Um, so the reason I'm doing this is because I had a trip in India for three and a half weeks where I was not able to find starch solution friendly stuff all the time. So I'm wanting to reset my taste buds and kind of get back to where I was before. So anyway, I want to show you everything I'm eating today. It is a Saturday today and I've got the two kids. <laughs> I mean, I always have that little one, but little Abe is joining me today, which is amazing. Hello, gorgeous. So obviously... As, as you do when you've got a family, I have made breakfast for everybody else and everybody else is having pancakes, banana oat pancakes. And if you guys have seen my stuff before, you guys know that I love banana oat pancakes. So that is going to be a tricky one. However, I'm feeling strong on the potatoes, so it's all right. But, um, but I am smothering them in peanut butter so that I'm not really tempted. So that is my strategy there. But I wanted to show you what I've got as a little experiment this morning. It's more of a snack, a little snacklet, but basically I had some leftover mash yesterday and I decided to add, I just kept it in the fridge obviously. Uh, so with the mash, I just added some garlic salt and a little bit of parsley as well. And I've just put it on my little pancake maker. This is my little pancake maker. I bought it on Amazon. I'll try and find a link because I get questions about it all the time. I'll try and find a link and put it down below. Um, but anyway, so I've just, made them into little rounds and I'm just keeping them on here to try and crisp them up and see if I can do kind of like a mini potato pancake thing. So anyway, that's just something I'm trying out this morning and I'll let you know how it works out. But I'm thinking of um, just having it with a little bit of ketchup as a little tiny snack. So remember, for the potato reset, I am doing a few little condiments, um, fat-free, vegan, obviously, um, just to kind of give me some variety and some flavour and stuff. So a little bit of ketchup, sometimes a little tiny bit of maple syrup, I am allowing myself. Um, and I know that's what a lot of people do when they do the potato reset as well. So anyway, I'll show you what that looks like when it all comes together. And for today, um, we are going to be going out for the back end of the day. So... I'm going to try and either eat lunch before we go um, or make sure I take loads of yummy food with me and then obviously maybe try and get prepared for dinner time because uh, I think we might be coming back a little bit late. So I'll keep you updated, but this is Potato Reset on the go weekend style. So keep on watching if you want to see some more from my crazy babies as well. So I know I don't show much in the way of recipes, but this is a very quick and simple one. I thought I'd just show you real quick because it is one of my absolute... Excuse the kids in the background, they're just playing. This is one of my absolute favorite ways to have non-starchy veggies. And I haven't shown this for quite a long time. So for anyone who's new around here, maybe you haven't seen it before, but it is my crispy courgettes, crispy zucchini, whatever you want to call it. So I've just chopped up two courgettes here. I'm just gonna bung them in here real quick. I did want to say, I am quite excited because um, Romy, my little boo-boo, starts nursery in January. And then I actually get a few hours a week and I might make you guys some recipes. So maybe get ready for some recipe videos. They'll probably be absolutely rubbish, but they will be tasty. So that's what I can offer. But anyway, hopefully you guys are excited about that too. Anyway, got my courgettes in here. And I usually just do regular salt, but I've got garlic salt, so I'm gonna go garlic style. Um, now these are massive holes, so I don't know why they've done that. You could literally kill yourself. So I think I just need like a little bit. So maybe like a quarter of a teaspoon, if that, maybe like an eighth of a teaspoon. Then the magic happens with, with the nutritional yeast. Let me go grab that. So for two courgettes, I probably do about a quarter cup of nutritional yeast. So yeah, probably like that. And the nutritional yeast is amazing because it kind of acts out like a bready coating. Oh, hello, Ram Ram. Oh, you want to read Santa? Hey, do you want to eat some Santa? So yeah, so far we've got quarter cup of nooch and like an eighth teaspoon of garlic salt. And that is it. It is, as, like I said, it's barely a recipe, but it is so delicious. Um, so here we go. You know what, actually, let's give it a nice old mix. No, I thought I needed some more nooch, but I don't think I do. Right, hold on a sec. So that's what I've got so far. And actually it does need a bit more nooch. So tiny bit more nooch. So, Again, you can kind of judge this depending on how much you like. 
but I like it quite neutral because like I said, that gives it kind of bread crummy vibes. And um, so I'm gonna stick mine in the air fryer. If you guys don't have an air fryer, you can stick it in the oven. I've never really tried it in the oven. Uh, so I can't really tell you how long for, but basically you want it to be really crispy. Um, so right. Let's give that a little mixy mix. That's looking better. Right. So that is the kind of crispy vibe we want. And um, you know what? I'm just going to do a tiny bit more garlic salt, just just in case it needs it. Not too much. Just a little. Mm, just a tiny. There we go. Just a tiny little bit. Okay. Okay. Come with me, and we'll stick it in my air fryer. Yeah. Whose air fryer was clean? Not mine. So my strategy for this is. I've got it on about 200 degrees and I'm just going to whack it on for 10 minutes to start with and then I'm going to give it a mix and then I'm going to put it on for another 5 or 10 minutes depending on how crispy I want it. Meanwhile, these are going down really nicely by the way. I am cooking them for a long time because I want them to be crispy. I could have done them in the air fryer but I wanted to do the crispy courgette so anyway that's what I'm doing it on here and if they turn out nicely, oh look at that, if they turn out nicely I will be doing more because I've got loads of extra mash in the fridge. Um, so this is just my kind of little trial, but they're looking very, very tasty. So a little update on these little babies. Firstly, I've made more because I needed more. And they are looking absolutely delicious. And they are also... Mm. You want some, do you, Ronster? They're a bit hot right now. But anyway, highly recommend. Oh my gosh, so, so, so young. Mm. So the courgettes are done and I just wanted to show you what they look like because I'm actually in love. So this is the courgettes. Can you see that kind of level of crispy goodness we've got going on from the nooch? Let me show you, I want to show you up close. Here, here, here. Look, look at that. And if you can appreciate, mm, the level of crunch there is incredible. Anyway, so that's breakfast. I'm going to put it together now. Okay, okay, breakfast is served. And I want to show you my feast So this is my potato meal. I am very proud of this. Not only does it look delicious, it also tastes incredible. So I've got obviously my potato kind of pancakes, crispy courgettes, and I've just added a few tomatoes on and a squeeze of lime. Again, those are a fruit, but I'm not counting them as a fruit because really they're a vegetable in my mind. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. Anyway, I'm gonna go and dig into this and then I need to get packed and ready to go because we are leaving in about an hour. It is about uh 22 11 and we're gonna be heading out the door soon so anyway i'm gonna go and stuff my little face okay so we are about to head out the door and we have literally 20 minutes until we leave so i am throwing together some food really quickly for me and the kids my husband james tends to eat whatever there is while we're out he is vegan but he's happy with any old stuff sandwiches or whatever um he does eat whole foods most of the time while we're at home but when we go out he's a bit more flexy but he's always vegan obviously um so i want to show you what i'm taking for me and the kids so i had a more complicated breakfast so i'm going to keep it very very simple and i'm craving something sweet so i'm taking and i know it sounds ridiculous i'm taking this massive tupperware of sweet potatoes if i'm not mistaken there's six sweet potatoes in there so that's what i'm going to eat um and alongside that i'm also taking a whole bag of carrots and I'm gonna chop up an entire cucumber as well. So I'm keeping it super simple and it's fine to keep it simple sometimes, especially when you don't have a lot of time and you're going out. And I was just about to say, you're absolutely right, Abe. And I'm taking two sweet potatoes for the kids, for them, um, because they haven't had sweet potato in a while either. And for the kids, I'm just about to quickly pop some sweet corns in some water and boil those up real quick as well. And then I'm also gonna take them a couple of bananas and for some high calorie stuff, I'm gonna take them some dates. So we're keeping it very simple because I literally don't have any time at all. Oh, and I'm gonna squeeze some peanut butter in the dates for them for some healthy fats. So keeping it simple and um, yeah, and I'll show you when we're out what I actually end up eating, how much I actually end up eating, but sometimes it's okay to keep it simple. Um, and really that is the point of the potato reset anyway, to keep it simple. So anyway, um, I will chat to you guys later, but uh, my breakfast was absolutely delicious. I really loved it. Um, the star of the show, I mean, obviously the potatoes were super yum. Yeah, you're just having spoonfuls of jam, you little sausage. You can finish that if you want. I just did some homemade raspberry jam for them um, to have on their pancakes. So Abe's just finishing that. It's just raspberries and maple syrup, basically. Um, 
So, yeah, but the courgettes is what I was going to say. The courgettes were the star of the show. I love crispy courgettes so much. So if you guys have an air fryer or if you fancy trying it out, then definitely, definitely highly recommend because it is one of my favourite things ever. So as I was heating up these sweet potatoes to take with me because I quite like them warm, I realised I was quite snacky, so I've decided to eat one of them now and take the rest with me. Also, I know it's not going to be as chatty a video as usual because it's the weekend, so... Well, some of you might think I am chatty anyway, and I might be, but not as chatty as usual. But anyway, it's weekend time. I'll get back to my regular chattiness on Monday. But I still think it's worth sharing what I'm having over the weekend. <coughs> so, we have just gotten back from a lovely day out with some friends. Um, I didn't really film anything while we were there, but I did eat two sweet potatoes and about three quarters of a cucumber en route, which was very yummy. I heated up the sweet potatoes before we left because I prefer my sweet potatoes nice and hot. Um, and now, they've just come back. Oh. But yeah, we have just gotten back and I was getting quite hungry because it's about uh, 5.30 and we left at about 12. So I had two sweet potatoes and my cucumber uh, en route about 12.30. Um, and yeah, so now I'm having a couple of sweet potatoes just as a snack this is not my dinner i just fancied something sweet and delicious and so i've just heated up a couple of these babies and mm. tell you what sweet potatoes really hit the spot um, i wasn't really in the mood for a regular potato uh, yet so sweet potato first and then i am gonna have for dinner i've decided i'm gonna have hash browns with tomato soup so i've got some tins of tomatoes i'm just gonna make a very very quick and easy soup an onion some garlic tomato tins of tomatoes and some stock like some bouillon stuff um, then i'm going to dip my hash browns in there so anyway i'm going to have this as a snack and i'll show you my hash browns later but i'm going to go and have a lovely warm bath because it was very chilly and i need a bath so before i go in the bath so i'm making the kids and the family some sushi tonight this is going to be a test because okay i'm about to open up the instant pot guys this is a turkey one Oh, I don't know why. I don't know why I did that to myself. I needed that hit. Anyway, um, oh, is it even cooked? I just opened the rice, and for some reason it didn't cook properly. And I opened it up before I waited ten minutes um, after the beep. So that's my bad. So anyway, put the rice on again. Um, but the smell of rice is incredible. I'm going to find it very hard while I'm making the sushi not to naturally just take some bites of it, of the rice anyway, because I usually very much snack as i go on the sushi front i don't know if you guys feel me on that one um but yes so i think i severely underestimated how many potatoes i'm going to be eating mainly in terms of sweet potatoes i'm actually really enjoying the sweet potatoes regular potatoes are lovely but the sweet potatoes is where i'm at at the moment so i've had four today and also it doesn't help that my kids have also seen me eat the sweet potatoes and they've both eaten sweet potatoes as well. So I forgot about that element. So I'm going to have to go and get some sweet potatoes. I basically have one more sweet potato left after I've just eaten those as a snack. Um, so I'm going to have to put some sweet potatoes in tonight. Otherwise, I won't have any in the morning. And tomorrow we've got quite a busy day. We're actually going to go out all day. Um, so it's another day out and about. So I'm going to have to be very prepared and take a lot of stuff with me. So you guys will see what that looks like. But basically, I think it's going to be very, not boring, but very plain and just big box of sweet potatoes, big box of potatoes. I think that's, and just like some cucumber and carrots and stuff. I think that's going to be the easiest method uh, not to get too complicated. So anyway, that's my plan. Um, but yeah, anyway, got one sweet potato left. So tonight I'm having hash browns with the tomato soup. I am going to go and make that as soon as I've gone out of the bath. And I'm very excited about it because I've had a lot of sweet potatoes and I now need something savoury. Anyway, I hope you guys are all doing really well on your potato resets. Let me know down below what you've been eating. Is it mash? Have you been going sweet potato, regular potato? What are your favourites so far? How are you guys feeling? I'm feeling fantastic. I feel like I've got obviously loads of energy and, you know, same as usual and I'm still really enjoying potatoes. Um, not missing anything yet. I thought I was going to be missing beans. But I'm not missing that yet. Um, the rice, I'm, I'm fine with not having the rice at the moment. That's no issue at all. It's just naturally not trying to eat it as I'm making the stuff. Because I usually like lick the spoon. Um, but anyway, otherwise I'm doing good. I do fancy something chocolatey. So I was, oh, with my last sweet potato, I might blend it up with some cocoa powder. And a splash of maple syrup. A splash. And a splash of soy milk. Now, I don't know if those are 
acceptable if that's a bit too naughty, but I might do it anyway. Well, that was beautiful. Oh, I love a bath me, bath person every single time. <clears throat> but there was something I wanted to chat about, which was, obviously I am doing this to reset my taste buds, but I am still on my weight loss journey. I don't really know how much weight I've got left to lose. I'm just gonna keep going until, until whatever. I'm doing this for the rest of my life, so let's just see where it takes me. But obviously I know a lot of people who are be gonna be doing this with me and who might be interested in this are gonna be asking me if I'm losing weight during the potato reset. So I am having a little look <clears throat> at my weight every morning. I don't really mind about it. It's irrelevant to me purely for scientific purposes. So I can share that information with you guys. Now, obviously one week is not a very long time uh, to do the potato reset and to see some um, really amazing results. You can see some amazing results in terms of weight loss I'm talking about, but you don't, you won't necessarily see it in just a week. If I was going to do this for like a month, that is, that's when you can really reap the benefits of this in terms of weight loss. Um, but I am going to still track my weight loss and or gain or whatever it turns out to be. And I'll let you guys know. So, so far, between yesterday and today, I have lost one pound. That could be completely nothing to do with potatoes. I have no idea. It could be a million and one different things. Water intake, activity level, salt, like all those kinds of things. So I'm just going to be upfront with you and let you know what the scale says every single day, just because it might be of interest to some of you. I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to keep you updated with that. Um, I don't expect to lose a lot. I may even gain some. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, but I'm still enjoying the potatoes and uh, that's not exactly why I'm doing this. I'm doing this to reset my taste buds. And if weight, loss, if weight loss happens as a side effect, that's fantastic. Anyway, just thought I'd let you know about that and I'll keep you updated on a daily basis as to how that's going. And um, yeah, and then give you kind of an overview at the very end of the week. I am curious to see if I'm going to be dying for some other stuff by the end of the week. If I'm not, if I'm still enjoying my potatoes, I may roll it out to two weeks. Basically, I'm gonna just keep on going until I don't really want potatoes anymore. I may decide to add beans in at some point because I love my beans uh, and I might do like a potato bean reset. But anyway, I'll keep you guys updated and I'm going to go and make the kids some sushi now. I'll let you know how difficult that's going to be for me. So I am making some sushi for my babies um, and I had a crazy thought. So I was looking at the sushi thinking, mm, sushi sounds nice. And then I thought to myself, why can't I have sushi? Not in the rice sense, but in the potato sense. So I am going to be a little bit crazy and I'm going to try my hand at making some potato sushi. Now this may go horribly wrong, I really am not sure, but I will let you know so that you guys can try it out if it is incredible. I'm going to load it with uh, carrot, cucumber and my one of my favourite sushi um, ingredients is pickled radish, otherwise known as muli. For me, not for you. You sussy. No, I'm gonna do potato sushi. <sighs> Abe knows what I'm doing at the moment and he knows that I can't have anything other than potatoes and veggies, don't you, Abe? So, you were worried about me having some sushi. Thank you, Mommy. Bob. You do have a bit of a sticky nose. Oh dear, what happened there, you sticky face? We've been out at the woods all day and Abe has clearly been eating mud. Okay, so this may be the weirdest concoction I think I've ever actually created, but it looks very pretty and I'm hoping it tastes good. I haven't tried it yet. So this, guys, is my potato sushi. It's mashed potato sushi. Just say that again in case you don't believe it. It's mashed potato sushi. Anyway, that is crazy. So let's, let's try it together, shall we? Because I don't know what it's going to be like in the slightest. Are you ready to watch mommy eat the mashed potato sushi? <laughs> Do you think it's gonna be like Abe? I am gonna go Yummy. get some. You think it's gonna be nice? I'm gonna go and get some soy sauce real quick. Right, hold on. Mommy, I say um, bye. Yeah. Bye. Right, okay, I'm nearly out, so I'm just gonna have to like pour it on. I'm gonna. Oh, there we go. Right, that'll do for now. And I'm gonna do a little sushi ginger on the top. Okay, guys, let's do this. Sorry, very crunchy. That is delicious. That is yum. Wow. So I just want to show you. Firstly, look how pretty that is. I mean, obviously sushi is pretty, 
but these come out so literally perfectly so wow i'm amazed that is delicious if you guys want to try something truly absurd but delicious please try a mashed potato sushi um so it's now super late it's like 10 30 11 o'clock or something everyone else is asleep in my house i stayed up i've got lots of editing to do um, it's the first day of everyone else's potato reset and I've been out all day and I haven't really posted anything about it so I've just been putting some time aside and um, doing some editing so anyway I <clears throat> had a lovely dinner that sushi was actually delicious um, I know it sounds like such a weird combination I don't know where it came from in my tiny brain but try it out maybe you're a fan maybe you're not um, I am a fan anyway um, so I have had a cup of tea and I was feeling absolutely fine and didn't feel like I needed any food at all however because I stayed up quite late I feel like I'm staying up quite late usually I'd be going to bed around now-ish but because I'm staying up and I've got more editing to do my body's like oh why don't you go and have a little snack not my body sorry my mind my mind is telling me to go and have a little snack um, and I, I don't think I'm actually hungry, so I'm not going to go and do that. But it's interesting that I was meant to go to sleep. I was meant to already be asleep. And because I'm not, my body's like, oh, maybe just have a little bit more energy. Let's just, I, you know, let's have something else. Anyway, just an interesting observation. Um, so, yeah, I think that's all that I'm going to be eating today. Um, I don't know how chatty this video was or how long it was. I have no idea. But anyway, uh, at least I showed you what I ate and that was the main point. But no, I hope if you guys are on this potato reset journey, let me know down below. I am very excited about it. I am not bored of potatoes yet. I, yes, I also wanted to say, <clears throat> so I'm not bored of potatoes yet. And I must say I am feeling um, not like too bloated. Um, I don't get really bloated, but I do get quite full after a meal um just a general meal but i'm feeling like i'm a lot kind of flatter in general um having eaten just potatoes maybe it's just great digestion i'm not quite sure but anyway i'm feeling feeling pretty good um so that's nice but yeah i'm really enjoying the potatoes i'm out the other thing i will say is so i've run out of sweet potatoes i've got one left we are going out first thing in the morning i think i already mentioned this so i have been debating the last hour whether to actually um, go and do some more sweet potatoes but they take like an hour and a half to get them like super ooey gooey and I was not motivated to stay up that long although now in hindsight I am awake still so I really should have done it and I also have run out of mash so I need to make some more mash so basically this is this, this is the problem when I'm out all day um, and I have no time uh, to be at home so this is probably what you guys experience those of you who work out and about experience on a regular basis um if you've got kids and if you're out all day it, it can be quite tricky um so just having getting into the habit of doing something at a certain time is probably going to be helpful so i might just do something um which is set an alarm every night for like seven o'clock which is when my kids go to bed and then at that time that's when I do my potato prep for the next day because otherwise it's just going to get away with, away from me and I'm going to have to do it in the mornings and it's going to be really rushed and I don't know whether I'm going to have sweet potatoes tomorrow, which is sad because they're going out all day and I love sweet potatoes. So anyway, I'm going to have to get up early and just make them. Anyway, I just wanted to chat about that. Um, it is it, Sometimes meal prep can and food prep can be a struggle and you do have to put systems in place to make it work for you. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do. Set an alarm. I'm going to get it done. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have a lovely night, evening, day, wherever you are at the moment. I'm going to probably do some more editing and go to bed, but I'm not going to eat anything. So I'll say goodnight now. If you want to see more potato reset stuff, feel free to follow, um, subscribe, whatever that word is. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next time.